Hey everyone and welcome to our channel, the best place for all things sewing. My name is Jessalyn and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite pattern, Tammy with a neckband. This is the first video in the Tammy series, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out. Before we get started, I want to be sure you have the most recent edition of the Tammy pattern. The last revision was done in June of 2020, so if you haven't downloaded the file since then, you're going to need to re-download it. Also, you're going to need the neckband for the Tammy, and that can be found on our Pattern Niche Facebook in the file section. Now that you have all that, you're ready to dive in. First things first, you're going to need to cut out your fabric pieces. This looks like it has a lot of pieces, but don't be intimidated. If you just take it step by step, you'll do great. You're going to need two mirror image sleeves, one front piece cut on the fold, and one back piece cut on the fold, two cuff pieces, two bottom band pieces cut on the fold, and one neck band piece cut on the fold. Since I chose a French cherry for the main fabric, I needed something with a little more stretch and recovery for the bands. So I chose a bamboo. You can see it has quite a bit more stretch. And I used this coordinating fabric for the neck band, the bottom band, and for the cuffs. Now that you've cut out all of your pattern pieces, you're going to lay out your front piece right sides up, and you're going to match the sleeves on each side of the front piece. Since a Tammy is a raglan pattern, you're going to match the sleeves to the side piece instead of at the shoulder seams. The piece that goes on this side is the mirror image and you can see these sides line up here. Another way to make sure you have the right sleeve with the right side of the shirt is to clip it down where they match up on the front piece and the other edge here should line up with the right side of the back piece. When you lay the back piece and the sleeve pieces right sides together, these should match up. So that's a great way to test. When you have both sleeve pieces connected you're going to want to sew down each side here with a 3 8 seam allowance now we're at the serger we're going to sew the sleeves at the 3 8 seam allowance to the front piece you can also use your sewing machine for this i just prefer to use a serger for knits, but that's again a personal preference. And once you get finished with this one side, you're going to just repeat it for the other side and then the front of your sleeves will be sewn together. After you sew the front piece to the sleeves on the front, this is what it should look like. The stripes are pretty decently matched up as well. That's another thing that I like about the Tammy pattern is since it's a raglan, I could do stripes or a print on the sleeves and a solid front or a striped front piece and solid sleeves. And that way I don't have to worry too much about the print matching. The next step is to add the back right sides together to the other side of the sleeve piece on each side. Now that you have that clipped, you're going to want to sew that side of the sleeve to the back piece at a 3 8 seam allowance. Now we're ready to sew the sleeve to the back piece. And you're going to want to repeat this for both sides. You're going to want to sew this at a 3 8 seam allowance, just like you've sewn the other pieces so far. Then you're just going to repeat with the other side and then you'll have both front and back pieces attached to each sleeve. 
Now that you've sewn one of the sleeves to the back piece, you will have one sleeve edge left to match up with the back piece. So you'll take the back piece here and line it up here and here, just like you did with the previous sleeve, and sew that at the 3 8 seam allowance. Now that you have all the sleeve pieces sewn to the front and the back, you should have a front piece, a back piece, and two sleeve pieces sewn together. Then you're going to want to fold the back and the front pieces right sides together and line up the sleeves and you're going to want to sew down the sleeve and down the side of each side at a 3 8 seam allowance. Now that that side's complete, you just do the same thing to sew the other side. At this point, the basic instruction of the Tammy is complete. All you have to do is the neckband, the cuffs, and the bottom band. The Tammy has two different options for cuffs. You can do regular cuffs, or you can do thumb hole cuffs like the Tammy that I'm wearing. Your fabric's going to need to be laying right sides up, and you're going to fold right sides together and sew down the side. You're gonna repeat that for the other cuff and you wanna sew that at a 3 8 seam allowance. Now your sleeve cuffs are sewn together and the wrong side of the fabric is on the outside with the right side of the fabric on the inside. You're gonna fold this part down on itself. So you'll pick up the piece and match up the raw edges on the bottom and the seam as well so that it's straight. And again, if you're using a print, you want to be sure that the print is on the outside now and the wrong side of the fabric is folded on the inside. And now you would do the same thing with the other side. Now you're ready to sew the cuff to the sleeve. The Tammy does need to be wrong sides out. So when you put the sleeve together with the cuff, the right sides will be together. I always like to match up both seams and I quarter the sleeve and the band to make sure that they match up exactly. Then I quarter the sleeve itself using the seam as my guide point. And then I match up my clips and my sleeve. And you'll put this in there right sides together and then match them up and clip them and sew this at a 3 8 seam allowance. Then you'll repeat the same steps for the other sleeve. Now that the sleeve and cuff are connected, this is what it should look like. And then when you open it up, you can see that it's correct. The right sides attached correctly. Now we're ready to move on to the neck band. You're going to want to fold it right sides together so that the wrong side is showing. And then you're going to sew down on the raw edge at a 3 8 seam allowance. Now that it's sewn together on the raw edge, you're going to want to open it up and fold it down so that the wrong sides are folded together and the right side is showing on the outside. So I'll open it up 
and match up the raw edges all the way around and you may want to clip as you go along so you can be sure nothing gets twisted and that everything matches up on the raw edge and you'll do that all the way around now you should have the right sides facing up and I like to use different clips to quarter the band so I know which points are the quarter points and you can add more clips on the inside if you feel like you need a few more to keep it going the right way. Now that you've quartered the neck band piece, it's equally important to go back and quarter the neck of the Tammy. And again, I like to use different types of clips to differentiate what is the quarter point from just where I'm trying to attach it so it doesn't come apart when I sew. You can use different colored ones, whatever is more convenient for you. Now it's time to attach the neck band to the Tammy. At this point, you need to have the Tammy right sides up and your neck band also needs to be right sides up and you'll attach the neck band to the Tammy at the quarter points with the neck band on top of the Tammy piece. When I'm attaching a neck band, I like to turn the garment sideways. That way I can reach the neck a little bit easier. It is attached now at the quarter points and there's a few extra clips to hold it in place. I also like to sew the back seam to the back of the garment that way I can tell the garment front from the back. Now you're ready to sew all the way around with a 3 8 seam allowance. When I'm attaching a neckband I prefer to use a serger but that's again your personal preference. You don't have to have a serger for a neckband. If you aren't feeling as confident or this is your first neckband you may want to base it on the sewing machine first or use your sewing machine. I like to start at the back seam and you're going to again do a 3 8 seam allowance and sew all the way around. Now the neck band and the cuffs are complete. The last step is to attach the bottom band. Take both of your bottom band pieces and line them up right sides together and sew down the short ends at a 3 8 seam allowance. Now this is what it should look like once it's sewn down on both sides. Then you're going to fold it down on itself just like you did the cuffs. Now this should be the right side of the fabric and the raw edges are matched up and the seams are matched up on each side and you're ready to attach it to the Tammy. The right side of the fabric should both be facing up on the band and on the Tammy. You also want to quarter the band and you're going to want to quarter the Tammy as well and you use the seam for the side points and the center front and center back for the other quarter points. Just like when we attach the neck band, I turn the garment sideways. I do the same thing when I attach the bottom band. You see that it's clipped at the quarter points and it has a few extra clips to hold it tight in place. The raw edges are lined up and the right sides of the fabric are together. And now you just need to sew it all around with a 3 8 seam allowance. Now that your bottom band is attached, your Tammy with a neck band is complete. One of the reasons that Tammy is my all time favorite pattern is that it comes with so many options. You could easily expand your skills and add a decorative zipper, side pockets, or even a kangaroo pocket to the center. The possibilities are endless with the Tammy, and I hope that I've inspired you to try making Tammy with a neck band. Thanks so much for watching and sewing along with me today. I hope you stay tuned to our channel for the rest of the Tammy series. See you next time.